Hey, the bugs is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored, and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family. Just thank you so much for the love and support. Um, being able to see the things that come our way, whether it's good or bad, and being able to pay attention to the signs are also helping leading us towards our journey. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, I would love the chance to get to know you as well as you're getting to know me. Even if it's you're dropping lines to tell me about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video gave good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some dark times right now and need validation or confirmation towards their life journey or even soul path, uh, please go Go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share in the social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again from the bottom of my heart for the support it is so greatly appreciated and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today i'm using um this beautiful meditation uh boost your serotonin dopamine uh was it uh endorphin release binary beats happiness frequency so I will go ahead and post that link in the description box below and today my video is about twin flame 101 hey Oka is your past does not define you it helps build the best version of you which it really does you know sometimes we can deal with negative people or you know sociopaths narcissistic you know that will use your weaknesses against you uh people that are negative they keep reminding you of the past that you had and it's just like nobody's perfect um nobody actually has a clean bill of health past that you know you never did anything you're not embarrassed of uh you know we make wrong decisions but we shouldn't have to keep paying for the things that we have done um being able to look at our past as as a thing that is going to build us up and make us you know even more of a positive light being the best version of yourself being able to heal from your past uh, mistakes you know your setbacks your your failures you know anything that you have done um we are, are you know this just there's times i've talked to people and you know people i knew back in the day you know we used that while out back in the day i ain't gonna get into all the stuff i used to get into but i'm just saying you know i was a pretty wild kid <laughs> put it that way i was a pretty wild kid but i you cannot dare me i was i'm about to be 42 years old in a few weeks there is no way that you know i would do the things that i did half of the things that i did you know i you know i used to get in trouble always fighting um and it's just like that's not a good look for me it's just you don't always have to you don't ever have to sit up here and put your hands on anybody to get your point across you know i've I'm that type of person. You have to really push me in a corner for me to want to lay hands. And that, that only happened to me like about two, three years ago. And that's the last time I allowed that to ever happen. I allowed somebody to take me out of my character only because they hit me first. But, you know, it's, it's just like there's always a better way to handle things. Um, when you know you're on this journey, when we start this journey, we are not going to come out the same person. You know, it's just like the journey is like the storm, of the, uh, a big fire. When you have started this journey, you know, you're going to be with a whole bunch of people. Or you probably were dealing with a whole bunch of people. But universe, God has allowed these people to exit out your life. They made you turn your back on, you know, certain circles of your life that is not health healthy for you. Um, it's not serving you in the most positive way but that's all right you know because I feel like you know I was the type of person that I felt like I had to have a lot of friends to feel important I'm just like you know what I always think is the quant you know the quality and not the quantity of people because you can be around so many people and still feel alone um being around the wrong people can make you feel lonely you know if they're not you know um 
in the best light, you know, everybody's finding themselves. You know, I never felt like I'm better than anybody else or, you know, put myself on the pedestal. But there is just like the crowd that, you know, I used to hang out with. They smoke weed, they drink, um, you have fun. That's all, you know, well, it's a good, you know, I don't sit up here and scorn somebody just because that's what they decide to do. That's where their, you know, uh, pastime is. You know, I used to be able to do that. But now it's just like people ask me, Rosie, you go to the club? I'm like, uh, no, I don't. <laughs> you know, I don't like being around a big group of people. But if I do, it's just like, dang, what do I do if I go to the club? Uh, anytime I went to the club, I always had like a, you know, a glass of wine or a wine cooler or something like that. Or, you know, just a little drink. And I'm just like, I don't even do any of these things anymore. So what would I do? It'll be pretty boring to me because I haven't tried to go out and have anything to drink. But, you know, that's, you know, that's the path I chose. I mean, I feel like you don't have to have drinks and smoke weed or whatever just to have fun. You know, I like to listen to music at home and, you know, I ain't got to get dressed up and try to impress nobody, spend a whole bunch of money just to, you know, get a new outfit and stuff like that just for one night. I just don't feel like the need to do that. But I said, I love what I do. I love my alone time. I love my solitude. Um, until I can be able to, you know, step out or whatever, that's fine. But it's just like when you're on that, you know, that, that road of being, you know, trying to better yourself in different ways, finding out things that are positive for you, finding things that, you know, doesn't put you in a, in a bad light, you know what I'm saying, for yourself. Um, you know, people are going to think whatever they want to think, but it's how you, you know, represent yourself, how you validate yourself is what's important. And, um, you know, sometimes it's hard, you know, because there's people that, you know, especially if you had a really hectic past, they tend to want to bring that up a lot, you know, and those are not the people you need to be around. I've had people like that. Oh, Rosalind, remember you did this? Remember you did that? And I'm like, wow, it's so like about 15 years ago. Why are we still talking about this? I don't even do stuff like that anymore. So why are you bringing it up? You know, you don't have to remind me of my past. I, you know, I know what I did. You don't got to keep reminding me. So it's just like I had to, you know, let my let people go this you know that I held dear to me you know but it's just like you know you're not positively serving me and you know we're not even on the same level anymore so you know I, I know people that you know wake up drinking and I'm just like oh lord it ain't even that type of party it ain't even that serious for me to have to get up and do that but you know I just everybody has their their Achilles everybody has their issues on you know how they go of dealing with things you know either it can be healthy or it can be toxic you have to just find you know your your potion for you to get that that happy vibe towards yourself but it shouldn't have to be something that you're you have to you know lean on to get that way you should be able to find things that you know elevate you you know make you evolve make you go to that next level you know do things that are healthy you know go on nature walks you know go hiking go swimming dancing something you know that puts you at, at the all-time high you know if you're an adrenaline junkie you know do some bungee jumping or something like that I mean I don't do all that I ain't jumping off of nobody's bridge or you know I don't, I don't do all that I'm, I'm scared of heights I don't do that but you know just finding something that you truly enjoy um that is in a positive way being able to find things that you you know that that you love to do I love to watch movies you know me and my daughters do that um being able to dance and sing, I love doing those things. And, you know, it doesn't take much to be able to do that. It doesn't, you know, bring up any negativity or anything that is going to cause you to get out your character or whatever. But it's just like, you know, your past doesn't define you. Don't, you know, if there's somebody who constantly reminds you of your past, those are the people you need to separate yourself from. Because it's like on this journey, you're, you're finding yourself, being able to see what, what you have to offer your life and what does life have to offer you so um you know just keep doing you finding things that you know like i said before makes your heart sing that you know you can contribute to the world as well as yourself and you know pure love and light you know even if it's like the volunteer somewhere somewhere to make you happy and stuff like that so i hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video i wasn't wanting to be short but you know hey a message is a message so you know drop me a line and let me know are you on that you know um, on that journey of finding your 
you know, the best version of yourself, elevating yourself in many different ways that are not toxic for you, but actually healthy for you in many ways. Um, and like I said before, I like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, drop me a line, give me a thumbs up, share is greatly uh, appreciated. Um, and send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing I, as well as other people, are, you know, praying for better days for you. So my post notification shout out goes to Brittany Wick and Daquan Bradley. Much love to you as well. And I will see y'all in my next video. I hope you have a blessed, prosperous week. Um, and that's all for this video. And I'll see you on my next one. Much love to you. Peace and be wild.